Hi. I told everyone in the training today that they'll be going into breakout rooms, two people each. One will be the listener and one will be the speaker. The listener asks the speaker, what brought you to this work? Or how do you have fun during shelter in place? And the listener then listens to the speaker in complete silence, both inside and outside, especially inside, just listening with full presence to what the person was saying. Then we came back all together and I asked them to please, again, go into the breakout rooms. And this time the listener should summarize everything that they heard or the most pertinent parts of what they heard. And then asked, did they get it all? So when they came back after doing that, I inquired, did they get it all? And they did. They were surprised that without knowing they had to summarize or they'd be asked to summarize that they knew what to say. They touched on all the salient points. That is something that is so important to do with anyone we're working with. Of course, really with anyone, but especially with people we're working with to listen. In motivational interviewing, we want to guide whatever we say, whatever we ask, towards the mutual goal, the focus that's agreed upon. And what people often do is think while they're listening, which isn't really fully listening. They're thinking, well, what can I say to move it in that direction? But no, when we listen, attentively, non-judgmentally, curiously, then we know what to reflect. We know what to ask, what open question to ask. We know how to summarize. When they switch roles, I let them know this is harder for the listener now because they know they're going to have to summarize. And I ask them to take that leap of faith to try it. Only one person is going to know if you mess up, and that's, of course, fine anyway, to just practice listening without an agenda and then know what to say. When we're working with people, to be able to listen in this way while still holding the nuances of, I'm going to remember what to say back. I'm going to guide in the best interest of the client. By doing this, we develop this heightened level of listening. And motivational interviewing offers way to convey that listening, which in turn offers a client confidence and ability in confidence in their ability in themselves to be able to make the change that they so much want. I would love to hear from you. I'd be honored to be able to train your agency in both MI, motivational interviewing, and emotional freedom techniques, EFT tapping. Please leave me a message. Contact me through my website, SuzanneAlfandary.com, and let me know what you're doing and what you think. Take good care and stay well. Thank you.